Christian religious tradition in its very essence is rooted in the natural world. All of its symbolism comes from the natural world. You think about the waters of baptism, um, you think about raising my eyes to the hills, the, the chrism oils, these are all, of course, the Eucharist itself, the fruit of the earth. God calls us to a much deeper engagement with preserving and promoting the health of our planet. The church has given us wonderful teachings, particularly of late with uh, Pope Francis's uh, relatively new encyclical Laudato Si, which is a real, it's not just an environmental encyclical. It is a whole cloth look at what it means to help the world flourish and to flourish in the process of doing that. There are plenty of parishes that have been designed with energy efficiency in mind. There are parishes that do community gardening. There are parishes that promote recycling or have farmer's markets or you know, all kinds of, of wonderful ways to, to be more responsible and more engaged vis-a-vis -vis the natural world. There's plenty of work to be done and I consider that good news rather than discouraging news because with over a billion Catholics, uh, Christians on the planet, we could be, it can be, a tremendous resource for good. Not only will we have a healthier planet, but we're going to have a more vibrant life of faith as well. These symbols will become that much more rich for us. The church as an organization has these profound commitments of, of engagement on justice issues, on environmental issues. and. We've done it in the past and we can do it again. We have our, our, our saints and our heroes. I would count Pope Francis as one of those and certainly others as well. There's a wonderful invitation to individual Catholics and to parishes and dioceses to grow new things out of this rich soil that the church has provided.